YouTube, what's up, man? In the cut, episode two. We're dropping weight. I did my unofficial, official, non-official, not really official, smudge the line, asterisk, weigh in. We we're 220 pounds. So I probably bulked over seven, eight, nine months, 15, 20 pounds, which is probably a little excessive. I didn't really track. I needed a mental break. And we had coach building my ass up with the deadlift. So we definitely gained some muscle in the lowers. The upper body, I wasn't as stoked because I wasn't as consistent. I was stressed. And having four full lower body days a week, I just didn't have the energy to put in my upper body, mental or physical. Um, but now we're back on track. So aesthetic training day one. We got a leg day. I'm probably going to grab a transformer bar and try to squat something moderately heavy while my strength's around. Maybe a top single or double. And then we're going to hop in with him and hit some deads. The gym's popping. Um, a lot going on. But uh, we still got to get the work in. And then I got to get some cardio. So whether I walk here or we're going to catch some sun maybe and grab a little walk or bike ride, uh, come along with me. Be sure to subscribe. Turn that thing up. Let's get it. Mostly, again, it was like the mental break, the holidays. Maybe you guys can relate, maybe you can't. I'm not a professional bodybuilder. So if you're a professional bodybuilder or a professional Instagrammer, which I am, I just suck at, um, you want to track your food in the off season, right? We want to gain as much muscle as we can in our bulk with as minimal fat. Yes, you will gain fat no matter what in a bulk, but you want to minimize it, right? If you're trying to stay lean all year round. I needed the mental break and the physical break, so I didn't track. Um, and that's how we went up 15, 20 pounds. You know, in a more close world, you want to go up 10 pounds maybe, right? And stay locked in. But, you know, my two cookies turned into three cookies. And now here we are. So the general plan now, um, last month of Jan, basically, I didn't really track. But I wasn't eating out and I was being, I was trying to cook as much as I can. So it's like phase one. I don't call it the diet because I'm just kind of building my routines back. And then now we're starting to track, man. We're locking it in. Lots of protein, I'm gonna hit around 200 grams. I'm gonna go 200 grams of carbs or less, and we're gonna go 50 grams of fat or less. Or less. So that's my general goal. Um, I don't move. So again, all this plan is based on me, my lifestyle. I don't move, man. I work on a laptop, I work on video, I work on a podcast, I work in meetings, I'm on calls all day. So I'm gonna try to get 5,000 steps a day or more, which some of you are like, that's so little. The 10,000 step rule people made up is a great guideline, but it's absolutely arbitrary. There's no data, no reasoning, no logic. It's just about what is good. Um, and for me, 5,000 is such an extreme change from my norm, it'll be fine. Uh, in terms of lifting, we're gonna switch into like a little uh, legs push pull, uh, upper lower, or legs push pull, uh, rinse repeat kind of deal, depending on my energy level. So five to six times training a week. Um, and that's where we're locking in. Um, we will do a full day eating. We will show you guys more food. Even today is just my first leg day back since being sick. Uh, my, you might even be able to hear it now, not as bad, but I've been nasally and just hawking up shit for 10 days now. So it's three bad days and then six days of just iffy. Um, when I was, then I was in LA, et cetera, et cetera. All I did was a deadlift down there. I pulled th uh, 500 for three with Bart. So today is the first like leg day. So squat at 300 on the, on the hardest setting on the front squat. We're gonna hit a top single or double on deads. And then I'll get some of the hypertrophy work mixed in. So whether that's a couple lunges, I'll probably do leg extension hamstring curl. And that might be it for my leg day. I don't want big old legs. Uh, my legs are thick. Um, I tend to gain a lot of weight there, muscle and fat. Uh, so obviously, it's just not as comfortable in clothes. And it's not an ultimate goal of mine. I, I've never skipped leg day. I never, that meme made no sense to me because uh, I started lifting weights as an athlete, as a basketball player, which leg day is the most important. And then I started as a power lifter, which leg day is the most important. So I've never been part of that culture. Um, now it seems like leg day is the cool shit, but that's, I think, because so many people skipped it for so long. So now they're trying to play catch up. I ain't trying to play catch up. Um, Ketchup, no mustard. Uh, I'm gonna go deadlift like 600 pounds right now for a dub for you guys on the stiff bar for all the haters. And then uh, we'll get a little pump going in the legs. Weather's good, vibe's good, uh, can't complain. Then I gotta go eat though. So I had a protein bar this morning, they had like two caffeine drinks. Um, but I, I got some ground beef waiting at home and some Greek yogurt. So I'll probably do this.
action low, the volume's low. It's, it's meat week here. So we got, we're running the biggest USAPL local meet in the history. So we've been working kind of since like 10 o'clock. I'm lifting a little bit later than I want, but I want to get a little stimulus in the legs. Nothing crazy, but just to kind of maintain so then when things do calm down in the rest of my life, then I can start to push a little bit. Rather than if I, I sit on my loins a little bit too much when stress is high, then getting back to this, I'll be super unmotivated and super sore. Where right now, yeah, it'll be a little bit of maintenance here. Um, and even going into a cut, that's not a terrible thing to think about, right? Like, put your focus on your sleep and your nutrition. And if lifting kind of stays the same, you'll maintain most of that muscle during the cut, you know? Rather than like, man, I gotta go crazy or I gotta have all this pressure, you know? Find something that's, all of this is about sustainability. The diet, the lifestyle, the lifting, sustainability. There's gonna be weeks where you crush it, months where you crush it, weeks where you don't crush it. What kind of vlogs are we getting into? We're gonna get into Avi and Mikey Hangout vlogs. Family vlog. It's a family it's a vlog. Family channel. vlog channel. People love family vlogs. Yeah. I love family vlogs. Well, that's what we're doing here. It's just yeah. not all families are made up the same. No. We are. We choose. We choose our family. What is that fa Fast and Furious thing? Like, yeah. About family. Family. <laughs> family. family. <laughs> that's you us. Family. Yeah. Um. We got a lot of travel coming up. So Abby's prepping for the Arnold, so that'll definitely be involved, not only with my cut, but just trying to vlog as much as we can of her process and her smashing weights. Um, and then life stuff, man. So everyday uh, dieting, everyday business, some of the clothes stuff that you guys are interested in the background apparel and what that design looks like. And that's uh, kind of feels like, although it's really going on our third year of good company in Third Street, it kind of feels like the first year because um, we do have the family involved and we're all kind of building together. It's a lot more exciting. And obviously the pandemic and things uh, really put a damper on our first two years, so um, it kind of feels like the fire's like catching. You know, we've been like keeping warm like this, and then now the shit's starting to spark a little bit. So um, a lot of stuff in the works, and we'll, we'll hopefully share all that with you along the cut, because I'll just be cutting the whole time anyways. But for sure, these first 30 days leading up to Arnold, gonna get shredded, and then she's gonna win the Arnold, and then she, I'm gonna eat macaroni and cheese on her bill. <laughs> That's good. And the meat. Steak, ribeye, and mac and cheese. That's my two. Oh, for sure we'll get some vlogs of the meat. Uh, that'll be chaos, so who knows if I'll be talking or not. But you'll definitely get some footage of the meat coming up uh, probably the very next video. So appreciate you guys, man. 3SB.co. New stuff's coming soon. The collab will be up and live, so be sure to check that out. we got a bunch of different designs, a bunch of different colorways. Um, new drops very, very soon. Join the Discord link in the bio. Uh, be a part of something bigger yourself, man. We over me. So I'm like, we out.